For the second time this week, residents surrounded the constituency office, thus vowing not to leave until they receive food. They say they are aware that the office is giving the monthly distribution of food parcels to food bank beneficiaries, but these are unique times and hunger has left them with no choice. How can the food bank only benefit a few people? All the residents must get food because every home has been affected by the lockdown. We can't go to work or walk in the streets without the police beating us up and telling us to go home. The councillor must ensure that we all get food or else he must step down so we get a new councillor. Food that the uh, minister is giving. We don't get the uh, harambe food. Now we must give the food that the minister is giving. What we want is that. So I say, we are suffering here because of hunger. They said the 750 will come this week, but we are still waiting while we are starving in our homes. Until when must we wait? Even me, I'm unemployed for two years, but I was riding off from the food bank program. I'm, I'm still waiting to be, to, be, to be conducted, but until now, we are waiting. We are still at the waiting list. So please, the Ministry of Poverty, come and look into the food bank program of Moses Garwe constituency. We are suffering. We are starving. We need the Ministry. The crowds were eventually dispersed by the law enforcement, with some taken in for refusing to budge. But this did not deter the desperate residents as they kept coming back and shouting for food. A police official leading the contingent on site said the councillor needs protection as he already had to be escorted into the office by an armed force for his safety. A clearly shaken councillor, Martin David, said that he understands the frustration and desperation of his community. But his office has not received any food for coronavirus relief purposes from government. Now the situation, people don't have food. They demand food from all the councillors, from all the constituency councillors. You talk about this councillor, Moses Carwell, you talk about uh, other constituency. So it's all, almost the same, the whole country. So that is the, 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 the situation. Now today... We have a program of people who receive food bank. Now that we have invited those who receive food bank to come and they collect their food, so then we, as usual, we used to do it through radios, announcement, so that people can come to the office and they collect their food because they are members of the food bank program. So then the others had the, 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 the announcement and they also come. Everybody come. As you, you are listening to them, they are complaining, they are talking, they are, uh, yeah, they, they, they are make some screaming. They no, also need the food. They, they want to try, you know, blocking. Um, they, they, they want to create that situation of uh, uh, unlawful. And then he, uh, it's because apparently they got water, enough water at their, at their houses, at their locations, but they don't have food. So now uh, we are trying to, 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 to help those who are in need, who are suffering really. Many of the residents say they have applied for the emergency income grant and received no feedback on the intervention that was supposed to have reached the applicants by Tuesday. The Ministry of Finance sent out a statement on Wednesday stating that they have received over 320,000 applications through the SMS line. It also said that nearly 180,000 were rejected, while 146,000 applicants will soon be receiving the once-off $750 each.